Hi everyone! I chose PictoChart for my screencast assignment. This tool was listed in the infographic section of the Teacher's Guide to Tech 2020. PictoChart is a really easy to use tool to create infographics, posters, presentations, reports, and flyers, everything listed in the dashboard on the left side of the screen. There's a free version, which is what I'm using, and it has a really impressive amount of templates and graphics to choose from, but you are limited to five visuals. You can purchase a plan as an individual or for a team, and you can check out those options and pricing by going to PictoChart.com. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to create a new infographic in PictoChart. So from the dashboard, I will select Create New, and then Infographics. From here, I have two choices. I can create an infographic from scratch by clicking Start from Blank, or I can use a template, which I have can scroll down and see all of the templates here, or I can search for one in the search box. I can pick one of these templates and then edit it to my liking. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to start from scratch. The first thing I want to do is give my project a new title. As you can see, I've got several different options over here on the left and ways that I can customize my infographic. For my demonstration, I'm going to go out of order. I'm not going to follow the order um, in a linear fashion that's listed over here on the left. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, deal with my text. So I'm going to select text and I'm going to add a title. And I can either click on it or I can click on it and drag it. And then I'm going to add some text. I'm going to experiment with some of these other options. So I've searched through these text frames and I'm actually going to insert a text frame instead of a subtitle. Next, I'm going to select my design components. I can choose from lists, timeline, or comparison format, and for this project I'm going to choose list. And then specifically, I'm looking for something that is formatted vertically. I found one that I liked, so now I'm going to add my text. As you can see, I've added text to my design component, so in my list I have my title and then I have some text that I added. So the next thing I'm going to do is add some graphics to make it interesting. After selecting graphics, you'll see that I have several different options, shapes and icons, illustrations, lines, photos, and photo frames. I'm going to choose photos for my project. Uh, you also have the option of uploading photos from your computer if you'd like to. I'm going to stick with the options that I have available right here. I'd like to add a photo right up here at the top, so I'm going to enter a keyword, press enter, and I've got several different options for the word sick. I like this one, so I'm going to click and drag it. I can resize this, which obviously I will need to do because right now it is covering my title. Next I'm going to add graphics to each of the descriptions here in my list. I searched by the word plan and I found this graphic that I really like. So I'm just going to drag and drop it over into this box and you'll see that it shows up in the background. I'm going to do that for the rest of the images. Now that I've got all of the photos that I want for my project, the next thing I'm going to do is customize the background. And I have two major options. The first one is I can choose a color and make it a solid background or I can insert an image. And just for fun, I'm going to choose a background image. I'm going to choose this nice, soothing blue. And all I had to do was click on it, and now my background is this nice blue color. Unfortunately, with the free version, I can't create new color schemes. And there is one last tool that I would like to show you called Tools. And you can insert charts, you can insert maps and videos from either YouTube or Mimeo. I hope this crash course on infographic customizations in PictoChart was helpful. Thank you so much for your time.